today I want to talk to you about these awful instruments of torture. At least they are in my opinion. But when you're trying to pick color combinations that will go, there is so much advice and there are so many things that are available to you and a lot of them are just plain torture. I haven't gone to any school to learn color theory or art or anything like that. I don't have a degree in anything. So art and color is like speaking a foreign language to me. It's very difficult for me. I know what I like when I see it, but I don't know how people get there. Um, so my paper choices end up being like this. Pulling colors from the photo, there's kind of a blue-green here, but it's green, and there's a lot of green here. There's some green and some light yellow, some light yellow there. My husband's shorts are, are a blue color, a dark, dark blue, and this is black. And his hat, even though you can't tell it, is a dark blue, but he's got a, a bit of red there. So, so my color choices, I'm going to start with the greens. I have a glorious green, and I'm not sure this must have been one of the in colors or whatever, because I don't really know what color that is. <coughs> But that's for the background of the photo, since there's a lot of green. And then I want just a tiny bit of red, so I'm going to just let that peek out there. And then I want a little bit more, oh, and what color is that? That color is real red, Stampin' Up's real red. And then not quite navy is this one and I want to use this one a little bit more of that color for the the cooler and his shorts and some of the other blue things in the around in the in the thing and then yo-yo yellow to go with some of the yellow stuff in there so I'll have a little bit of that and then of course there's black, so I need black as an accent color. Now this is how I make my color choices. In my quest for enlightenment, knowledge, trying to figure out how you make color combinations, uh, I read that this was an excellent tool to use. Okay, now it might be an excellent tool for somebody, but it's not for me. See these itty bitty teeny tiny numbers? Well, there are gradients of this particular color from the lightest to mid-tones to the darkest. And when, when you're looking for a color to use in here, this color of yellow is not anywhere on this color wheel. So, by my estimation, I'm already screwed. To further complicate things, they have this handy thing here where wherever you turn this dial to highlight whatever color, let's, let's just use this one here, then this purple and this orangey brown yellow these are complementary colors and so you can use anything from these two color families if you want a tertiary color it it would be let's see Ah, uh, see I'm already lost I don't know why I've kept this 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 thing is speaking a foreign language to me and I just don't get it. This one is from Creative Memories and I've had this one, let's see, I bought this one in 2005. I tried to use it 
once and it's been up in the cupboard ever since and I can't quite decide if I want to put it in the trash or if there's somebody I dislike enough that I want to pass it on to them. I don't have anybody like that so it sits at the side. Okay, this one's from Creative Memories and it's it has their different solids and designer papers on there and I thought okay this would be really cool. All right. Blue selection start here and run run there. Then it goes into the blue greens and and greens and yellow greens and whatever. But we'll just use this blue. This smaller circle here also has blue selections that run from here all the way across over to here. So if you have a plain paper and you have the coordinating printed papers in the blues, then you can turn this wheel to see what kind of papers you would like to use with this in the blue field. And then just when I thought I was doing really good, well then they've got this little bitty one in here and I don't know, this isn't really marked except for the colors of their paper. So these are basically neutrals and okay um, I'm already having trouble trying to figure out. Then I found this little guy. I thought this could help me. This one I bought in uh, Oh, early 2005. And this was the first color wheel I bought. And I have since found out that this is for paint. I decide to further torture myself. Alright, so I recently bought the Stampin' Up! Color Coach. And I've been pleasantly surprised with this. I mean, they speak my language. Yeah, they've, for me, I, I'm not saying anything about you, but for me, they have sort of idiot proofed it. When you have a color that you want to use mostly, like from the photo, from my photo, I have a lot of green. So I thought I would use this green. Well, in picking my stuff, I pretty much picked what was already in the photo and I didn't I wasn't aware of it the blue and the green and a little bit of red and some yellow well what's in here whoops this way these are the colors that were in my photo they have some verbiage that is really really helpful for me. I don't know how it would be for you, but it is helpful for me. It says, until you become comfortable creating color schemes, limit yourself to just two colors. Your main color and one accent color. Well, that could be the green. Whoops, there it is. The glorious green and the real red. Or the glorious green and the brilliant blue. Or the summer sun or the ruby red. But when you want to start out, you just just leave yourself to just two colors. The accent color can be either a coordinating color or a complementary color. Um, and if you want to pull in a third color, use only about half as much of the of the third color as the second color. I like Stampin' Up's color coach a whole lot better than I like any one of these things. 